myself Riza Firdaus PGT Mathematics from Telangana State Model School Konda Park Village and Mandal Tidipet District Alfred North Whitehead rightly said algebra is the intellectual instrument which has been created for rendering clear the quantitative aspects of the world In today's session we'll have class 10th mathematics english medium chapter 5 quadratic equations the subtopic is solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square part 2 let us apply the method of completing the square in standard form of quadratic equation the standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 a not equal to 0 step 1 dividing the equation by a we get x square plus b by a x plus c by a is equal to 0 step 2 x square plus b by a x is equal to minus c by a step 3 x square plus b by a x plus 1 by 2 b by a whole square is equal to minus c by a plus 1 by 2 b by a whole square implies x square plus 2 into x into b by 2a plus b by 2a whole square is equal to minus c by a plus b by 2a whole square step 4 x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to b square minus 4ac by 4a square step 5 If b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0, then taking the square root on both sides, we get x plus b by 2a is equal to plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Therefore, x is equal to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. so the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 are given by minus b plus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and minus b minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a if b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0 This formula is used for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. It is known as quadratic formula. Let us see one problem. The area of a rectangular plot is 528 meters square. The length of the plot is 1 meter more than twice its breadth. We need to find the length and breadth of the plot once again listen carefully the area of rectangular plot is 528 meter square the length of the plot is 1 meter more than twice its breadth we need to find the length and breadth of the plot the dimensions of the plot are not given instead the condition is given and area of the plot is given so we will assume the breadth of the plot to be x meters the condition on the length is given as it is one more than twice its breadth when we are assuming the breadth to be x meters the length of the plot will be 2x plus 1 meters since the area of rectangular plot is 528 meter square we can write it as x into 2x plus 1 is equal to 528 that is 2x square plus x minus 528 is equal to 0 
this is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 where a is equal to 2 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 528 so the quadratic formula gives us the solution as x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus under root of 1 plus 4 into 2 into 528 by 4. On further simplification, we get x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus under root of 4225 by 4 is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 65 by 4. x is equal to 64 by 4 or x is equal to minus 33 by 2. Since x is the breadth and it cannot be negative, so the breadth of the plot is 64 by 4, which is 16 meters, and hence the length will become 33 meters. Another problem find two consecutive odd positive integers, sum of whose squares is 290. Let the first odd positive integer be x. Then it is obvious that the second positive integer will be x plus 2. According to the given condition, we get x square plus x plus 2 whole square is equal to 290. On simplifying this, we get x square plus x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 290. 2x square plus 4x minus 286 is equal to 0. Take 2 common x square plus 2x minus 143 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation in x. So using the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a we get x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus under root of 4 plus 572 by 2 is equal to minus 2 plus or minus under root of 576 by 2 which is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 24 by 2. x is equal to 11 or x is equal to minus 13 but x is given to be an odd positive integer therefore x cannot be equal to minus 13 hence x is equal to 11. Thus the two consecutive odd integers are 11 and 13. Find the roots of the following equations. x plus 1 by x is equal to 3. x is not equal to 0. Multiplying both sides of equation by x, we get x square plus 1 is equal to 3x. x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 1 so b square minus 4 ac is equal to 9 minus 4 equal to 5 is greater than 0 therefore x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 5 by 2 so the roots are x is equal to 3 plus root 5 by 2 or x is equal to 3 minus root 5 by 2. Another problem 1 by x minus 1 by x minus 2 is equal to 3 x is not equal to 0 comma 2. As x is not equal to 0 comma 2 multiplying the equation by x into x minus 2 we get x minus 2 minus x is equal to 3 into x into x minus 2. Minus 2 is equal to 3x square minus 6x. So the given equation reduces to 3x square minus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation. Here a is equal to 3, b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 2. Children here b is equal to minus 6.
b is equal to minus 6. So, b square minus 4ac is equal to 36 minus 24 which is equal to 12 is greater than 0. Therefore, x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 12 by 6. x is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 by 6. That is, x is equal to 3 plus root 3 by 3 or x is equal to 3 minus root 3 by 3. Last one problem. It is a word problem. Listen carefully. Try to understand the question. A motorboat whose speed is 18 kilometers per hour in still water, it takes one hour more to go upstream 24 kilometers upstream than to return downstream to the same spot. Find the speed of the stream. Once again, a motorboat whose speed is 18 kilometers per hour in still water. It takes one hour more to go 24 kilometers upstream than to return downstream to the same spot. Find the speed of the stream. Children, the speed of the stream is not given. We will assume the speed of the stream to be x kilometers per hour. Therefore, the speed of the boat upstream will be 18 minus x kilometer per hour and the speed of the boat downstream will be 18 plus x kilometer per hour. The time taken to go upstream, time taken we all know it is distance by speed. So, it will be 24 by 18 minus x r. Similarly, the time taken to go downstream is 24 by 18 plus x r. According to the given condition, the equation becomes 24 by 18 minus x plus 24 by 18 plus x is equal to 1. Now, taking LCM, and cross multiplying, we get 24 into 18 plus x minus 24 into 18 minus x is equal to 18 plus x into 18 minus x, which implies 432 plus 24x minus 432 plus 24x is equal to 324 minus x square. This implies x square plus 48x minus 324 is equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation. Here A is equal to 1, B is equal to 48 and C is equal to minus 324. Using the quadratic formula, we get X is equal to, what is the quadratic formula? It is X is equal to minus B plus or minus under root of B square minus 4AC by 2A. Now, in this we will substitute the value of A, B and C. We get x is equal to minus 48 plus or minus square root of 48 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 324 by 2. x is equal to minus 48 plus or minus square root of 2304 plus 1296 by 2. x is equal to minus 48 plus or minus square root of 3600 divided by 2. x is equal to minus 48 plus or minus 60 by 2. That is x is equal to 6 or x is equal to minus 54. Shakuntala Devi rightly said, without mathematics, there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Thank you everyone.